everyone. Welcome to the pit stop. I'm your hostess Raja, and today I am joined by the one, the only Delta Work. Yes. Yeah. Your titties look good. They feel good. Mmm, bouncy. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. First and foremost, the pressure is thickening. I feel like the heat is there, and Kimura is starting to feel a little bit of pressure. I'm feeling so underdogged because compared to James, I was like a 10 to a 1. It's not just about how well you put on makeup. Are you the whole package? Yes. Can you sell it yeah. all the way? Even if you know it's a pile of mm -hmm. can you convince enough people that it is not just good, it's great and it's a brand. Mm -hmm. Both you and I have been in this position before. How does one cope and manage with this sort of pressure? Uh, you just let it fester until you get kicked off. You feel like if you're competing at your personal best, that should be the best. Mm. But sometimes other people's personal best is better than your own. I think a lot of them are still coming with their egos from home. Sure. I think that at home that they're really praised and when you're kind of taken away from the club atmosphere and you're forced to work and deal with people, challenging. Right. People aren't just blowing smoke up your ass and right. throwing fireball shots down your throat. Now, uh, at the same time, we're seeing Valentina really emerge and just become uh, one of the big stars of this. Like, she's really a standout in the whole thing. And Trinity is on a mission to kind of bring her down a little bit. I'm really looking forward to knocking you out of your winner spot, okay? <laughs> You want to knock out the people that you think are the strongest competitors. Mm -hmm. Some people do it with words. Some people, I don't know, if they're going to take out scissors and cut up dresses. Now, my opinion on it is, uh, you know, it's a competition. She's sure. being so cutthroat and so competitive about it. But I find that really cool and admirable. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're in a competition, compete. For someone like yourself, someone like myself, you know, we, we deal with things with humor. Also, I don't know if there's situations here where people are truly using words because they want to get rid of people or they're using humor to get through. Okay, now it's time for us to talk about the workroom because this is always a very interesting part that seems to always happen consistently in Drag Race. Why these bitches don't know how to sew? I do not sew. Would Kim K sew her own outfits? No. How do you walk into the workroom without knowing how to sew? Sewing is important. Mm -hmm. Telling jokes is important. Mm -hmm. Wiping your ass is important. <laughs> is it? Even if you don't know how to sew, I don't think that you should go into this telling people that you don't know how to sew. I mean, there's ways to do stuff. Imagination. But you have to be able to fake it to yeah. the top. And you know what? Whining. To see a person whine, for instance, the lovely pheromone. How, how did she whine? What, what did it sound like? Mm, I don't know. Like I put it off. <sighs> no. I don't want to do this. I can't listen to people whine. Everyone has a brand. So Rue's making her rounds around the room, and she stops by Valentina's table, and she notices that she's got these really big pair of sunglasses on. We discover that Valentina is trying to hide her shaved brows. Oh, oh, my, my goodness, look at there. Have you ever shaved your brows? I have not. Someone threads my brows. She gets in there like this. She, she just tugs it. at it. Yeah, and she does my bikini line, too, just oh. like this. I mean, she has to use yarn with that, but... <laughs> Ropes. But, uh, <laughs> was she embarrassed? I just think she was unprepared. Why didn't she just draw them in before she came into the workroom? I think Rue's pretty much seen everyone at their best and their worst. Okay, I was just getting a lot of critique on her makeup, saying that it's too much or it's too dark. Also, it was brought up about Facetune and how credible is a performer if all of their social media is completely blanketed in an app. There is a viewpoint that I do agree with as well. Um, Matthew Anderson, once said, photoshopping something is just like putting on makeup. Very it is true. just the next level of that. But you should be able to create a reasonable facsimile of that if you're trying to perform. These girls have to learn that makeup for the stage versus makeup for the camera are completely different. Thank God our season was not on HD. Right, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Woo. My favorite part of any episode of RuPaul's Drag Race is the runway. There were some standouts. I liked uh, Charlie's character. Hers was royal. Hers yes. looked worthy of someone in a movie. My standouts for me were Valentina was adorable. I thought her outfit was a little bit simple, but the overall beauty and the character that she had as a sidekick was adorable too. I thought Trinity did a wonderful job. Her starfish character was a really strong one for me. Trinity, she's known for her beauty, but she does have a really funny sense about her. And I think if she lassos that, that could be the stronger selling point for her even. I think it's about taking what you do seriously, mm -hmm. not yourself seriously. Work. 
work. Some of them threw me off, to be honest with you. Okay. The garbage queen. I felt like she ended up looking very beautiful, but I didn't really see garbage created to be beautiful. What sort of princess would you have been? Well, I just would have woke up. And uh, not up. like Princess Tacos of the Kingdom of Norway. <laughs> the bottom two ends up being the two girls who complain the most about sewing. With that said, Trinity wins. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. Yes, mama. The lip sync for your life, riveting. But what I saw was I saw Aja really, really step it up. I didn't even know she could do the splits. She was sure. death dropping. I wish they would do less death dropping, you but I enjoyed it. You want them to just drop dead? Sure. Your favorite part of the show is the runway. Mm -hmm. I watched the whole show because I have to get to the lip sync for your life. I love the lip sync for your life. Mm -hmm. I always remember that RuPaul says, this isn't a dance competition. I've asked you to do one thing, and that's to know the words to the song. Oops. It's so important. Kimora got grilled, honey, really she hard did. by the judges. You didn't really sell me on what your princess is. Your sidekick was robotic. You just couldn't wait for it to get over. And Kimora goes home. I kind of wanted to see her a little bit more. I was really fascinated by her. Initially, I thought she was going to be a bit of a c but then I started to see little layers peeled away, and I yeah. kind of wanted to see a little bit more. Yeah, well, he's good. I mean, creativity, uniqueness, nerve, talent. Aja got a little bit of a shock. She seemed a little bit broken down at the end. Do you think she can make a comeback and come around? Yeah, I think she can make a comeback. She is strong at sewing. Right. However, she wasn't strong at styling. Oops! That was part of the problem. I'm always really curious. Now that we're in episode three, I'd like to ask the queens, you know, who is your favorite right now? Who are you team... I'm pulling for Valentina because I, I do love looking at a beautiful queen. I'm pulling for Trinity. I feel like she's willing to step outside of the box, but still use what's in the box. I certainly have my favorites. I do love a Valentina moment, and I'm definitely loving Trinity. But can I add Shea kool to that list, too, for mm -hmm. me? Love her. Please do. Well, this has been really fun. Delta, yeah. thank you so much for coming Excited. by. You're always enlightening, and you always come with a great amount of wisdom and understanding. You. And you're an absolute c Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here at the Pit Stop. We'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Woo! Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.